Hey y'all, so today guys, a word for us. My name is Naya and um, yeah, welcome to my TikTok, welcome to my YouTube. A lot of y'all are brand new to my channel and to my ministry. So I'm thanking y'all for even subscribing, for following me, for even just allowing me to give y'all the word. So today's word is actually really good. So this is actually re in reference to a few of my journal entries that I did. This was my very, very first journal, y'all. Like, y'all see how bent up it is? This is my very first journal, and I'm a heavy, heavy journal journaler. I don't even know if that's a word, but I'm a heavy journaler, and I journal, try to journal every day. Um, this was like the very, very beginning. Like, y'all, <sighs> something great is gonna come out of this. But today, God wants me to talk about and encourage y'all. Um, especially y'all who are waiting on or standing for um, a kind of spouse, a prodigal to come back. Um, God led me to just give y'all a little bit of what I've been through today. Um, just to encourage some of y'all. Um, so let me find it. It's a journal entry that I did, I want to say back in May or April. Let me see. Okay, so first off, I want to say back in May... I was led to write a letter. So I was led to write a letter to my kidney spouse and it was a long, okay? I had a lot to get off my chest, I had a lot to say. So around this time when I was writing this journal, this was like the very, very beginning of me growing closer to God, me growing my relationship with God, me being consistent with God, me reading my word daily, consistently, me learning how to hear God's voice. So this journal was literally my wilderness season in one book. Um, and this basically was like summing up um, all the things that I had endured during my wilderness season, all the things that I struggled with, like um, having doubts. Um, when God first told me about the kingdom marriage thing, like every single little big, like this is like the beginning, y'all. Like when I tell y'all I lacked faith so many times, um, I doubted God so many times. I doubted the promise so many times, but God still brought me out. God still had faith in me. He still knew that I was going to end up being obedient. He knew that I was going to answer the calling on my life. So yeah, y'all, this is so funny that God has me going back to these old journal entries. So I just want to tell y'all this. Okay, so God has been wanting me to come in here and encourage some of y'all who are waiting on y'all prodigals and y'all um, came as possible to come back, right? Because at a time, I told y'all I had, I had um, two separations with my kingdom spouse. And so when God gave me, okay, so when God wanted us to come back together for the, for, no, for the first time, he wanted us to come back together. So let me just give y'all a little backstory. I'm sorry I'm all over the place. But when God first, uh, when I first met my kingdom spouse, we were together, whatever. We did never hang, we, we never hung out with each other before. We were just like only talking at work. Uh, we never exchanged numbers, social medias. Never hung out outside of work, and um, he asked me to hang out before, of course, but I just never did it. Wasn't really tripping off him like that, so, and I just wasn't tripping off him like that, and I wasn't looking at him like in an aspect yet. I liked him, but it wasn't like that serious, and I kind of was just like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, we cool, we cool at work, like, you know what I mean? So it was like that, and um, anyways, we never had any of each other's phone number, but we did specifically talk about certain things, like where each other stayed at, where we went to school at and turns out y'all we had so much in common we literally stay right by each other go to the same school and we work together so i'm just like mm. and then when god first gave me the promise he brought me he gave me my first prophetic word and it was this prophetic word talking about ruth and boaz and this woman she was prophesying saying um basically like your kingdom spouse is somebody that you work with right and that's ruth and boaz because if you read the story of Ruth and Boaz, you know what that's about. I'm not going to go too far and deep in it, deep in it right now because I want to go into another. Um, I want to leave that for a separate video. But basically, I want to encourage y'all because I'm going to read this to y'all. So this was May 22nd of 2022 at 10.05 a.m. I don't know if that date um, is important to any of y'all, but so this is what God gave me, right? <laughs> so I knew where this man stayed at. I knew what his car looked like. It was just like certain things that God had me remember. And y'all, I can't remember anything to save my life. So this was just crazy how God had me remember all of these things. And like so vividly, y'all, I remember every single little thing about this man. Car, where he stayed. Not to mention my sister has friends that stay in his neighborhood. So like I will always go over there. Crazy. So this is May of 2022. Um, I said, dear God, this morning I woke up thinking, LOL. This particular song called Find Me 
by Sigma came to my mind. Now, I don't even really know this song. It kept playing on a commercial that I had seen on YouTube. And every single time I'm going on YouTube, this particular commercial will come up and the song that played on it is called Find Me. And so um, I said, I don't personally know it, <laughs> but I looked up the lyrics as well as the song. Uh, one of my favorite songs at the time was uh, Wait For You by Future, Drake, and Tams. And I said, I need to get into my meditation. <laughs> I said, I need to get into meditation so I can receive an explanation. I need you and only you to explain this to me and what it means for me in particular. Here's what the lyrics say on Find Me. I actually put it in here. And so I said, fine. The name of the song is called Find Me. If you're ready, heart is open. I'll be waiting. Come and find me. If you're searching for forever, I'll be waiting. Come and find me. And so it says, we've lost our way. That's what you told me last. But tears, they come and go. This is us, I will never get enough. It's taking losing you to know. Then at the end it says, come and find me. And so this song literally was hunting me down. Every time I would go on YouTube, this commercial would literally come on. And like the, the commercial just says, uh, if you're ready, I'll be waiting, come and find me. And I think that's how I go. And then on the song, Wait For You, that song was literally been played over and over and over. Everybody in my house playing it. That was my favorite song, kept coming on the radio. And so the songs in Wait For You go, I will wait for you, for you, early in the morning, late at night. It doesn't even matter what time it is. You pray for my demons, girl, I got you. <laughs> and y'all know, if you know, you know. If you've been standing for your kingdom spouse, you know you've been praying for that man, demons. You know you've been praying for that girl, demons. You know you've been praying for this individual to come to Christ, to come to God, to answer the calling on their lives. So, so I said, now, Lord, what does this mean for me? I dreamed of this perfect scenario of us coming back together and it was going to be him magically appearing at a store. So when I imagine us coming together, I was thinking like, oh, he just magic going to show up at the store. You know, he's going to tap on my shoulder or something. Then I was going to be like starstruck and like, oh my God, it's you again. No, that's not what happened at all. Um, keep y'all um, expectations. Like, I'm not saying like, don't expect like a, a major thing to happen, but at the same time, like, limit don't put limitations on what god can do right so i said while i was focused on shopping or something but i don't know if this is going to happen like that i know exactly where he lives at weird yeah i know i know but the only reason i know is because my sister has me taking her over there to hang out with her friends i just don't want it to seem as if i'm pursuing him because in my head it felt like he was going to be the one to come find me like literally every woman in the bible <laughs> Is this to defeat my pride and my ego? Or do you actually want me to wait on him to come and find me? This is wild. And I said, God, let me know what it is you want me to do. This, there is a reason for everything. I just pray that he feels the same way about me. <laughs> In which if this is really meant to be, he will because you would have kept me on his mind constantly just like you did me about him. I pray that you send me confirmation on this. I need you, I need to hear your voice. Then a video or something giving me confirmation. <laughs> I needed to come in a set of three so that I know it's from you, literally. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray, amen. <laughs> so this is when I was growing my relationship with Christ. And um, so a few, like a week later, God has sent me confirmation. Um, and he actually told me to reach out to my kingdom spouse, right? Now, I told y'all, when God told me to reach out to my kingdom spouse, I thought... It was going to be him reaching out to me first. But God had to really deal with me. I'm telling y'all, if God told you that your kingdom spouse is coming back to you, that your prodigal is coming back to you, believe him. Because at a certain point, God had me reach out to my, my kingdom spouse and I doubted it. Y'all, the enemy tried to make me not do it. The enemy tried to make me fearful, what he was going to think, whether he was going to think I'm crazy. Y'all, I put a, a note on my man's car. Yes, I did. And I don't care. I'll do it again. <laughs> like... Um, God had to get rid of He had to really humble me in this situation. Like, God really humbled me. He really had to give me um, just knocking down all that pride and ego. Because I really, y'all, pr the pride and ego was at an all-time high. I thought I was really too good for certain things. And God had to really show me, like, when you get married, when you are called to kingdom marriages, it's no such thing as you too good to do anything. Because if that's who God is calling you to be with, 
there's no such thing as no you too good to do this or no i'm too good to do that because no wives you are called to submit to your husbands and husbands you are called to submit to your wives as well so don't think that your wife is the only person that's supposed to be submitting in the marriage because both of y'all are supposed to submit to each other and that is being obedient to god right um yeah okay so this is when god had me reach out right so I had felt the urge, um, I can't remember if my sister gave me an idea or if I actually was just like, I'm gonna leave the note. And it was just me by myself. I went over there um, and then I wrote the note before I left, no. I wrote the note before I left home and then once um, I got home, I um, put the note in his car or whatever. So after that, I went ahead and put the note in the car and um, <laughs> y'all, <laughs> I was so nervous. And then literally later that day, and this was May 30th, later that day, like I wanna say two hours later, Literally, God gave me these songs. Um, Y'all, I said, I feel the urge to write a letter to, to a special someone. I'm gonna come back later to this journal entry to let you know how that goes, LOL. I'm praying that this isn't just me, just being weird. This is so out of my comfort zone. <laughs> I said, woo. I'm gonna tape it to his car and put my number and Instagram on the paper. I'm nervous, but YOLO. <laughs> and then the songs that came to my mind um, was Wait For Me, wait for you so wait for me is by uh the realest k if you don't know that song um and then wait for you by future tims and drake and then mine by beyonce and drake and y'all this song i don't even know if i put the lyrics on here but do i have it i think in a song he says uh or she says drake no drake has a part in the song particular in mine and he says uh come right now you know where i stay i just want to say you're mine you're mine I just want to say you're mine, you're mine, you're mine, you're mine, you're mine, all I'm really asking for is you. Yeah, so that's a, that's his part. And then that song just kept repeating in my head, um, come right now, you know where I stay. And I kept hearing that song over and over and over. And I think that was God like telling me to like, go do it, like be obedient, do it. Like, this is me telling you to do it. And it wasn't even more so like prophetic words that he was showing me, but it was more so like God was literally giving me songs. And this is when he started giving me songs like a lot. And I started getting a lot of songs every day. And then also the song called Find Me. And so at 11.25 p.m., I wrote this in my journal. I said, so I've got good news. Today was like one of the best days I've had in a long time. I went on a picnic with my friend and I left them note for my kingdom's files and he texted me. And I said, who would have thought facing my fears would get me this far? God, you are amazing. I can't thank you enough. Keep me humble, Lord. Keep guiding and leading and transforming me. Protect me in my heart as well. Be with me always. Love you. Also, life is getting real exciting for me. I love this for myself. Just a couple of weeks ago, I was... <laughs> Just a couple of weeks ago, I was crying and sad, but here I am today full of smiles and happiness. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> and oh my God. And so the very, very next day we hung out together and that's like a whole separate story. But anyways, I just want to be encouraging because if I just want to be come on here and be encouraging because if y'all are waiting for your kingdom spouse or your um your prodigal to come back, be encouraged. Like at some point in time, it was me who had to reach out and me who had to face my fears and put my pride to the side and let go of my ego and reach out and do what God was telling me to do. So I just want y'all to know that that person will do it. If God has ordained y'all to be together, that person will submit to God's plan and they will reach out. God had to confirm things in a different way for me. And he probably is doing the same things here again as well as it may be in a different way, but that person is going to be in communication with you very soon. And it will be in God's time and not in your time. And so y'all, me and my kingdom spouse was separated the first time for like, I want to say, how long? Let me see. Hold on. Let me count my fingers real quick. Um, April, May. We were separated for eight months, almost nine months, literally. So I don't want y'all to know. It's going to be in God's time. It's not going to be in your time. And you will know when you're ready. Like God will tell you when you're ready to do what he's called you to do. So if you're waiting to reach out to your spouse, maybe you feel like you want to reach out. Ask God for instructions. Um, Ask God to equip you with the confidence. Because at some point in time, that was me who was on the other end of the stick. So I know how it feels. So that's why this second separation or the second separation happening wasn't hard for me knowing that i know when this time is going to be time because at a certain point in time that was me who had to be obedient and reach out we didn't have each other's phone number we didn't have each other's social media we didn't have each other's email we didn't have no form of communication or nothing so i had to put my pride to the side god had to humble me i want you to know that god is very strategic when he does things so don't think that this person can't just come knocking on your door or look up your i don't know <laughs> I'm saying look up your address, but like anything is possible. God can do anything. I, I literally left a note on this man car.
and I will do it again. I will do it again. <laughs> so I just want y'all to know like God is a guy who can do anything and all things but fail. So be encouraged. If you're the person standing, just continue praying, continue asking God to give this person strength, continue to rebuke those spirits of fear, doubt, uh, condemnation off your person. Um, lately, I've just been like asking God to equip him with confidence, strength, um, wisdom, and instructions because they need that just to point a time like where I need that from God. So just ask for that and pray for that for your kingdom spouse. And if you are the person who's waiting for God's permission to um, reach out to this person or you're just, you're feeling doubt, you're feeling like condemned, you're feeling like this person hasn't forgave you. I just want you to know this is the person that God has for you. This person has already forgiven you. Whether you see it or not, this person has, God has been working on us. Um, I just want y'all to know, like, be encouraged. Like, if God is telling you to do it, do it. There was a point in time where I needed that. And I wish I had somebody to tell me that. So I'm telling you, like, bro or sister, if, if God is telling you to do it, do it. And if God is telling you to wait, wait. So make sure you see God for further confirmation and further revelation. Ask him for instructions and wisdom to do what he's calling you to do in this hour. Um, you got this. This person has forgave you. This person has been working on their hot posture. If this is the person that God has for you, if it's that time, if this is your marriage season, though, so I want to be very specific. So if this is your season, this is your marriage season. God has been working on this person already. If it's not time, it's not time and you can't rush it. You can't force it. So if this person is not ready yet, that's okay too. Um, just continue praying for this person. Continue waiting on this person, y'all. You don't want to be unequally yoked. So it's better to wait than to force it. And, you know, y'all end up hurting each other. So allow time to heal both of y'all. Allow God to continuously heal the both of y'all inside and outside. And I'm telling y'all, once y'all come together, it's going to be so much more healthier, so much more just blissful. It's going to be blissful. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be new. It's going to be a fresh start, right? So be encouraged. Um... This was such a late video, I apologize. But this came, this, I kinda just been thinking about this all day. Um, I hope this encouraged y'all, whether y'all standing or whether y'all are the ones who are prodigals. So thank y'all for watching my video. Um, thank y'all for continuously subscribing and supporting my ministry. Thank y'all for all the comments that y'all leave. Thank y'all for praying for me. I'm praying for y'all as well. Um, thank y'all for just being here and watching my long videos. <laughs> um, I love y'all, but God loves y'all more. Uh, continue to be a blessing and continuously to live a blessed life even though we don't feel blessed all the time even though we don't feel grateful all the time just continue showing gratitude to god thanking god every day for even giving you breath like it, it could be the simplest things if you can't find anything to thank god for today thank god for waking you up thank god for putting shoes on your feet thank god for putting food in your refrigerator or food in your plate for your your family thank god for he thank god for your car thank god for clothes on your back like thank god for the simple things and i'm telling y'all once y'all learn how to show gratitude for the smallest things he's going to be able to trust you with bigger things he's going to be able to trust you with more when god sees that he can trust you with the smallest things he can reward you with bigger things and i know like your relationship with god is not all about materialistic things but at the same time god wants to give you things as well he created them to give to us god is never going to give you more than you can handle i just want y'all to know that so when God sees that it's time and you've grown into the person that he needs you to be, he will give you that thing. He will give you that marriage. He will give you that person. Um, it's all in God's time and not our own. So just continue praying, y'all. Um, I love y'all. Thank y'all for watching and see y'all later.